Hey guys, this is Team Financial Fitness, and I want to talk to you today about what's going on with Zillow. Mm -hmm. They're laying off 25% of their workforce. They've lost $380 million, <laughs> and what my wife thinks about them. <laughs> I hate Zillow. <laughs> I lot. cannot stand Zillow. I'm a real estate agent, full disclosure, and let me just tell you, they provide the most inaccurate information that you can possibly imagine. I have fought with them for years when I'd go to list a house or the buyers would come to me and say, but this estimate says this. And they literally do not do their homework. They don't have boots on the ground. They do not know what houses cost. And I think that's why they started purchasing houses for more than what they were worth. I think that's what happened. Yeah. And this kind of stuff happens in a top E market. They were they were making offers like 10 and 20% above I asking so. price. It's weird. We actually reached out to them and tried to get them mm -hmm. to buy one of our rent houses. Mm -hmm. and, but we weren't in their desired market. Mm -hmm. So... I'm just going to read a little bit of this to you. On Monday, reportedly that Zillow Group had halted its AI-powered house flipping operation after 93% of homes listed in their Phoenix portfolio are underwater. That's bad. And scrambling to unload 7,000 homes for $2.8 billion. Mm -hmm. um, today, the company announced during earnings that it was reduced workforce by 25%, mm -hmm. completely scrap its home flipping operation. And the CEO came out and said the reason why that they're going to scrap this operation is because shortage of material and labor. Yeah, they're going to tell you whatever. Um, September, Zillow put a record number of homes on the market with the lowest markup since November. And there was one guy saying, he I can't remember, he had his house listed for 100 and they gave him 110. Mm -hmm. And now it's worth, it, there, Zillow has it listed, listed for less than 100. He said it's right down in his neighborhood, and he's been watching it. So they got caught with their pants down, and their little AI system's not working real good. I guess it can't see toppy markets. I don't know. Well, I've actually lost commission lately because I've been honest with my buyers. As I said, I'm a real estate agent, which, poor guy, he didn't get a paycheck. But I've told them, don't buy this house because it is way above market value. If something happens and you have to resell this home in a year or two, you're going you're gonna to have to pay to get out of this home. And I've watched it with sellers, and it's brutal to go to the closing table and watch them write a check to get out of their home. So I've actually advised them not to purchase homes because we, I've been saying this for a while, and everyone keeps saying, no, the market's going to go up. I just don't see how it can. Appraisals can't even keep up with the sales price right now. I'm having appraisals come back and say, nope, I cannot say this house is worth that. You're going to have to come off that sales price. So that's what I've been seeing, but everyone has their opinion. Yeah, absolutely. And I got to give credit to the economic ninja because he was calling this he about was. three or four months ago. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I've been watching mm -hmm. it. So get ready, yep. brace for impact, and just watch things fall apart from a distance as you sit on your precious metals. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've done a couple videos lately of how to purchase them. And I'm hoping this will help you guys when the market does go down that you can step in and get some incredible assets because real estate is an incredible asset if you can get it for the right price. Yep. And that's it on the Zillow story. Yep. I hope y'all hit the button, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I will see you.